Um, hi there. Now, I've got to say, and Peter, this is not a comment on your physical stature. It's a, com <laughs> it's a comment on your intellectual stature. Um, if I am, my talk is well received, it's because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. All right. Um, I've got Chris O'Mahony uh, from last week and Peter from this evening who have paved the way for me. Um, so quite a few of the things I'll be referring to, I won't have to spend as much time on to because they've already been done. Oh, but Okay, but this also comes in at a bit of a lower oh, lower easier pitch because grants of triples is much better known and much better much more widely rung i won't say better understood but much more widely rung than stedman um and so i'll just what i'll do here first of all if you're going to, and this is really about again calling grants of triples nothing to really to do with conducting it but just getting out there and saying right i'm going to call a touch of grants of triples and that's perhaps you know in the realm for a lot of the people you know in the room um that's going to happen at some stage so first of all let's quickly get to calling this is what i'm going to do here i'm going to screen share with this just see you should be looking at a little whiteboard drawing it's got um and i'm going to now if you look at my face i'm going to be looking to the side because i'm working on a graphics tablet um and i can just draw on it with a red pen um all right so let's get first of all with grants of triples. Most people are deadly familiar with actually the, the uh, playing course, and they're also very familiar with what happens at a bob. So I'll start at that point, but just quickly you know, note them. So every line you look for on grants of triples, I'm really conscious tonight of not necessarily having everything called from the seven, because a lot of people you know, want to be able to call it from a smaller bell. But every line you ever find has, as Peter pointed out earlier, the biggest bell marked in with the blue line. So I've got a copy there and, you know, just pulled down from the web um, from diagram drawn by Chain Ringing Toolkit. Um, but let's just first of all note that the, what the calling positions are, what they mean, and the words that are associated with them. So if you're following from the seven, so follow the blue line from the top there, and you'll notice that at the very first lead end, and I started to write in red there, if you, a bob is called when you reach this position just down here. Oh, I'm in, I'm in a different color at the moment. I might just try and change colors um, and be in red. Oh, I think I am in red, yep. Um, should be in some sort of red there. Um, okay, and then you come into the hunt and because you're going into the hunt, it's called in. And so to the hunt, you won't, I mean, just on compositions when they're written out in the diary, it just says in. All right. Now, if you go into the hunt and you were the two, if you tracked along through the two, of course, then the next calling position, you would simply double dodge and come out of the hunt. Now, if you come out, that's a, if you say, if you think there's some composition written out that says in and out means in and out of the hunt, some compositions will say in and out at three which just means you've got to stay in the hunt and at the third opportunity you come out. But what I've drawn there was in and out at one, which just means one lead later. In and, oh dear, what happened there? Um, in, and out, in and out at one, um, at one. Okay, um, I should have an undo function on here, but I won't, I'll just keep racing along. Okay, what would happen though? We, we didn't take that opportunity to go into the bob and need to come out of it. And your next opportunity is where the blue line's coming down to the second lead end here. And you're unaffected, what most people call thirds unaffected. In compositions, when they're written out, that one's called before, because you lead before the treble. All right, so. The calling positions, we're just making a list here. There's in and out, and you can be out at one, two, three, four, whatever. Um, before means just simply thirds unaffected. And of course, before with a single would send you into the hunt because you'd do seconds and go into the hunt. I'll just go through the listings for bobs here. Um, so before means that. Then let's just move down a little bit. Oops, let's just go down here. And if we go to the next lead end and we would have been going to do, I'll just follow the line along here and we come out and we're going to do four, five down. But as you're aware, you don't get as far as four, five down and you end up doing double six, seven down. Now, 
for all you real conductors of grants to triples, and I don't include myself in that, um, we might have a bit of an argument later, but that one is all almost always known as the wrong. And as Chris Omani was mentioning last week, it's called wrong because it's not right. Right is the same as home. And if you're at the back in that position, but you're double dodging the other way. So that's called the wrong. Um, and then if we just go back up here to the other, what would be left, if you came along the blue line and you got as far as you know, coming to the next lead end, you've got, you didn't take that opportunity to make a bob it wrong. And you got to here and you double dodge this way. This is where the seven would normally finish. And so that's right, or most commonly called home. So home just means you actually are going to dodge six, double dodge, six, seven up. Wrong was six, seven down. And before, was the thirds, the you know, thirds unaffected. Now, just think about what happens if you, there's one position missing because by having that last bob, we jumped back to where we'd started from. And it's this last lead end down here, which we haven't talked about yet. If you didn't call a bob at home, then you would get yourself to a position where you're coming down here, you lead, and you'd get to here and you'd double dodge four, five up. And that one is called middle. Four, five up. All right, so they essentially are the names of the calling positions that you strike in grants or triples, in and, in or in and out, um, before, wrong, home and middle. But you can't call them all in any one course, because if you call the home, you suddenly can't do the middle, you've jumped past it. So, but that's what they are. Um, okay, so next thing to look at is to think about what touches look like when they're, writ when they're written out. So what I might do, I might just shift that panel out of the way, put that over on another screen over here. Um, and now just have a look, just have a think about how touches might be written out. Now, um, I think I could probably make that slightly larger and just make it a bit easier to, oops, maybe too, too small, too large. Um, I'll just scroll, not scroll, but just move up. Calling grants or triples touches. Make the calls at, first of all, most of you would be aware simply by having rung grants or triples lots of times that if you've ever rung the treble and in a touch of grants or triples, that you're always in thirds place on the way down to lead when the call is made. And if you're not, the conductor hasn't done it right. Um, it's the hand stroke before you lead. And so that's when it has to be. Because a blow earlier than most methods, most most all those even bell methods simply because that bell that makes thirds and goes into the hunt does it earlier does it actually just as the trebles you know, just before and as the trebles leading so the call has to come earlier so but most people learn and i advise in the early going if you've never called any grants or triples touches just learn the spot on the line where you have to make the call and you know and, and from experience, you'll know what those spots are because you'll have rung in touches almost certainly before you ever have to call one. Okay, but you're making the call at hand stroke. And, you know, fairly early in that hand stroke change is better than late. You know, if you're at the back, it's better when those front bells are, you know, pulling off in that hand stroke change or the treble's just pulling off its hand stroke on the thirds on the way down to lead, call it then. Um, okay, now touches can be written out in various ways. Where we're going to get to is go have a look at the uh, diary entries, but I just want to introduce it by saying, you know, you can get touches written out like this, plain, single, plain, bob, bob, plain, bob, plain, plain. All right, and that's, I've got there brackets around that, it's 125 changes long. Okay, and that's very, very understandable, but it isn't necessarily very useful to the person who's calling it because they want to know what they're doing. So what I'm planning to do next is just, first of all, let's, the next bit here, I could have written this out ahead of time, but I'll just do it now on, on, I just have to change to my black pen and I'm just going to go, right, we start at two, three, four, five, six, seven. As Chris and Pete, Christopher and Peter have both said in the last you know, two weeks, you don't write the one because the treble's always going to be leading 
at the lead end, and therefore we don't need to write it. Generally, underneath the first, uh, the first row where the touch starts, there's a line drawn in any composition, in any diary or any listing. Okay, now having a look at that particular, what I'm gonna do now is just quickly write out each lead end for that short touch of 125. And look, this comes with practice, just knowing what to, what to write. If we have one plain lead, the two stayed in the hunt and that's where everybody moves to. And because I'm looking up here and we had a plain lead to start with. Now, when a single occurs at that point, the, it's a matter of, that's the, next, that's the next lead end that occurs. Now, if I'm writing them out myself, I tend to write a little S on the right-hand side. And then we've got another plane, and I'm not suggesting you need to be able to do this, but I want to show you how what the thing I'm drawing here becomes the compressed touch on the right. So I'll just, so I had plane, single plane, I'm just counting them off here, plane, single plane, now I need a bob. And I put a little dash, get used to the idea that when compositions are written out, the dash means the same as a B, a bob. And then after that, there was another bob. And so six, two, five, four, three, seven, another dash. And then we've got a plain lead, the six. So I start saying things to myself as I write these out. All oh, the six stays in the hunt for that plain lead because I'm recognizing what each position in that line of numbers means. The one that's most obvious to nearly everybody is that that first bell, that number six I've just drawn there, that will be the bell that's actually in the hunt. And I'll come back to one of these rows. And that was, so we got a plain lead. We don't have to write P after it. That was that lead there. And then we do another Bob, three, seven, six, five, four, two, and a dash. And then we've got two planes to finish this touch. You'll notice that the three is now in the hunt. And so three, five, seven, two, six, four, and three, uh, I've drawn the three very well. Yeah, three, two, five, four, seven, six. And we put a bracket around that because that change, as Peter was saying earlier tonight, brilliant, you know, lead in for me, that change never quite occurs. Rounds occurs the one change before that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you just cross over two and three and four and five and six and seven, you'll see that that's going to give you rounds. So whenever you have an odd, odd number touch in Gransa, it's going to come round at hand stroke and it's going to come round on a plain lead. If Gransa comes round at hand stroke with a call, a bob or a single, it's false. And so you won't see any touches um, in any diary or reputable source that has that, um, just simply because people tend to avoid doing that, isn't it? I tell you, the people listening outside wouldn't know. Um, okay, but now what we need to do is just try and get used to the idea for any row there, any of those lines I've just drawn out, what is each person doing? In other words, you might sit there and say, I want to call this touch, but you might just say, look, I want to call, I don't want to call it from the seven. I want to call it from, I want to call it from, okay, let's ask something. Natalie, Natalie Shea, turn your, turn your microphone on, pick, <laughs> a num, pick a number. What, you don't want to call it from the seven. What bell did you want to ring it to? Don't say the treble either. What, what bell did you want to call it from? Oh, look, four is usually a nice middle sized bell. Okay, let's let's see what the calling is for the four. Um, and so what I'm going to do here, I'm just simply going to say, I'll just go into red here just to make a, okay, so look at the right where the four is in each row here. The four is there, and then the four was there. And then I'm just going to circle every time. We're really only concerned with the ones that have got an S or a little hatch, hatch a line next to it where they were called. But let's just plot where the four is in all of this. And then it's going to come around. Okay. So what we're worried about, what is the four doing here? What is the four doing here, here, and here? The four places we need to make calls. What's the four doing? And this is the probably the trick to picking up a diary and working out what the hell you're going to do if it's not telling you, you know, 
you know, or call yourself in and out of the hunt three times, um, you've got to think, well, what am I doing here? And basically, I'll just put out, I'll just write out for, for well, I'll just, come, I'll just come down here. That first call, which was the single, remember, we've got a single here. And so you're going to say single, but what is that bell doing there? You ring a plain lead and you were doing six, seven down. So that was six, seven down there. The six is doing six, seven up. And the four here in the, at, this, at this single is doing double four, five up. It's doing the four, five up dodge. Now, what did we call that before? Middle. So in terms of the, writing this out as a composition for the four, you'd say you're calling the four middle and single middle. You know, you've got to call a single there. You're going to call a single at the middle. All right. And you can always remember who'd be coming out of the hunt. Well, it must be two because there it is. Two's there with you dodging uh, in four, five. Remember, just go blue here. This. So let's have a look at them. What was the seven doing? It was a single. The seven was doing seconds and going into the hunt. The six was doing long thirds. The two was coming out of the hunt with you in the middle. And then the five was doing double six, seven down. And the three is doing double six, seven up. So it's worth getting a bit of an idea on just as you read along the line, what each bell is doing. So you can work out if something's doing the same thing a lot of times and you might think, oh, that'll be easier for me. I'll call that one. Um, so there, plotting along from the four then, we've got the four did double four, five up, middle you might call it. Here at the next call, it's going to do six, seven down. And of course, remember, it's, I'm still in blue. Um, still, it's the, it's the um, double, it's a double dodge at a call, obviously. So you're doing double six, seven down and that one's called wrong. And then, oh, look at this. What's, Natalie, spot that. What's happening at the next call? Can you see my cursor whizzing around there? Yeah, so that's the same spot as it was in the, yep. um, in the second. Yep, so lot. it's so another, middle. another middle. Oh, this is looking like a nice touch because you want things that repeat, you know, it's a bit easier to remember. So we've got middle, wrong, middle, and then two leads later, because we had, we had two leads between those calls. We're two leads. Hey, look. It's wrong again. It's doing double six, seven down. Oh, nice pick, Natalie. All right. <laughs> um, so you're going to call the four middle wrong, middle wrong. Um, in other words, double call yourself to do double four, five up with a single and then double six, seven down with a bob, double four, five up with a bob and then double six, seven down with a bob and let it roll, roll along for two more plane leads and that baby's going to come around, all right? Um, I think this is the, the first way in for Grand Sir Triples is you're calling touches. You're not worried about the 1260 yet. You're just worried about getting the bobs out in the right place and remembering the way to do it is remember what you're doing, all right? So the thing is now, there's one thing that will catch your eye a bit unfortunately when you look in the diary. They will have the touch compressed. It's just a space saving thing. Now, um, if we just have a look, because this I chose this particular touch because it does appear in the diary. And of course, if we just pick out the lead ends, and all I'm going to do here is just quickly two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, stick the line under that. And then if I just simply write out where there's calls, and so I'm just going to take it goes to a different color again. If I just took this row here, which is the row that occurs when I have my first call and just said, right, um, I'll go back to black, um, seven, six, two, four, five, three. And I'm just copying from what's over on the left side there. And now I write S on the left and I say, oh, it was actually the second lead end where I made that call. And then let's go along another two leads and let's just make sure we write out this change. I'm in black again. Um, I'll write out this change now and it's a bob. So I'm going to go line for a bob and I'm going to write five, three, seven, two, four, six. And again, it was two leads later. 
And then the next one that's got a bob is this one here, and it's only one lead later. And so I'll write that one out, I'll dash for the bob, and I go six, two, five, four, three, seven, and it's only one lead later. Then I need to go to the last one here, and this is a bob, and it gives me the change three, seven, six, five, four, two, and it was two leads later. And if I just, and then I get, I get two leads later, it's a plane, so I don't put anything on the left-hand side, and I write three, two, five, four, seven, six, and put a bracket around it because it's that change that never quite happens. I would think what we have just written out there is exactly what you'll find in the diary. Now I've got a diary page. What I did, I've just got to get my stuff off another screen here. Um, all right. I'll make this a little bit, I'll shrink this down a tiny bit because this is, a, I've got it up on a big screen and it's big. Um, but if I just try and grab this and slide this in, oh, you're going to come and behave yourself. Let's have a look here. This, by the way, is the, um, this is the 2020 diary. I've just taken, oh, come on, you bugger. Um, it's snapped into, I just don't want it. Oh, that's a bit too small. Um, I might, what I, look, I tell you what I might just, I, you don't need to know what chemistry I was teaching today. Um, but I'll just take, I'm just having a little struggle with that on a small screen. So I'm going to take what I'll do here. Um, you just have to bear with me a second. I'm going to move your ha ha happy smiling faces. On. I'm working with three screens here. Um, you go onto that screen. I put the diary page onto the big one and... I've got to now just find you again. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll just go back to my file haven and I'll find it again and it'll come on you. Come here. This will be easier if I just go ring little diary. Up she comes. Um, have a look here. I'll stop sharing and just go to share a different screen. This will make it a lot easier. Okay. All right. There is the diary. There's the two pages of the grants are triples from the 2020 diary. Um, and let's have a look down the bottom down here. And we can shuffle that down if we need to, but down the bottom, just over here on the left hand side, there it is. There is that touch we were just writing out. That's how it appears in the diary. But I wanted to take you through forwards as to how that happens like that. And of course, if we look in there and we just go, right, let's, let's pick out a different bell now. We had number four penciled in there. We had the four there doing middle, wrong, middle, wrong. And of course, that first call was in fact a, um, a single because it says single on the left-hand side, not a little hash mark, a little line, which means Bob. And if there's nothing, it means plain. And the numbers on the right are the number of leads you run before you get to that. Okay, so let's have a, I mean, we could pick it, let's, let's pick a different touch even. Let's just have a look for something. Let's pick another one in the diary that you might be thinking, you know, you might want to call. Um, that 112 is a bit ugly. That's just a bob every, if you look at that, that's a bob every second lead. It's bob plane and it says repeat three times. So it's bob plane, bob plane, bob plane, bob plane. Um, but it might be better for us rather than have one at this moment that says repeat three times under it, just to find one. Well, when uh, it's, we could pick, Okay, let's get Richard Thomas, your pick. All right, Richard, turn your microphone on. Um, right. You pick one of these touches here and then I'll get someone to pick a number and we'll go through and see what they're doing when they're, um, you know, in the, if they had to call it from that bell. So pick one of these ones here. Okay, the 97. Not 97. Okay, we're over here. So we've got, you've got, you've got only you know, less than five minutes before the service. <laughs> you've got to get something short in there. So Richard just looks around and he, he looks around and he says to, he, he says, Anna, um, could you call that 97 in the diary, please? Um, Anna, you're there. Mm, yes, well, you may be hiding. Um, okay. <laughs> so you've got to call this 97 in the diary. Okay. So, um, what number would you like? You probably don't want this. You might not want the seven. What number? Pick a smaller number. 
Um, the three. The three. You're on the three. Okay, you grab the three and you quickly look in the diary and you look in here and you can see that the three is the second last bell at that first call and the first call comes after one lead. So that means you're going to be double dodging six, seven down, all right? So you get to the back and just as you lie at the back, you just go single and you double dodge six, seven down. You've called yourself to make the wrong, okay? And then two leads later, you're going to call another single. What are you going to do? Look where number three is. Maybe. Uh, no. You, you do, yeah, that's right. The bell, the first bell is the bell in the going into the hunt. The second bell is the bell doing thirds or at a single long thirds. And then there's the bell that's doing double dodge four, five down coming out of the hunt. The next bell is the one doing double dodge four, five up. That's middle. And then six and oh, look at that. Six and seven are back into their home position. So six is double dodging six, seven down and seven double dodging six, seven up. But you're calling it from the three. So you just did double six, seven down at the first lead end. And then two leads later, you call yourself to do long thirds. Then two leads later, what's that one there? It's called home, but what are you actually doing at home? Six, seven, down. Up, 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 up. up. The, down, the down dodges are always before. And you oh, look yeah. along the line, it goes down, up, down, yeah. up. Double, four, five, down, double, four, five, up. Double, six, seven, down, double, six, seven, up. So you're doing double, six, seven, up. And that's it's called the home position. That's not a, it's a quite a, it's quite a cruisy calling position. Because what you do on the way you're hunting out is, you you pass three bells in the treble and then you go over one more so you're just about to lob into sixth place and you just go single and you double dodge six seven up just as you approach the double dodge you just make open your mouth um and just sing out the word in this case it's single you do double six seven up one lead later what is that going to mean if you do a bob and you're the first number listed there what does in that the mean? hunt you're going into the hunt. Yes. Going into the hunt um, is you've got to be careful when you have to call yourself to go into the hunt. Because a lot of people, when they do it for the first time, they, they, they go over one bell as they leave the lead. And then they go over the next bell as they leave the lead, which is the treble. It's too late. Um, you're, you've missed it. You've got to realise when you're going into the hunt for grants are, that of course, it's when you're in second place, that's when the treble's in third place. Um, and so be careful going into making the call going into the hunt. Make sure you know when that's coming up. And because I mean, when you're first making calls in Grantsa, you haven't necessarily got the sort of like confidence to just look around and see where the treble is all the time. You're just ferociously hanging onto your line. So remember going into the hunt that you're going to have to um, you know, make the call when you're in second place. And then the next bell you pass is the treble, of course. And then you turn and do your thirds and go in. Okay. So, and then of course you're in the hunt and you cruise through a plane lead. When you see that brackets, that means we've got a cruisy plane lead to finish and you'll hunt into rounds ahead. And, stroke. and every one of these odd touches in here will have that finish. This one down here, the 125 we wrote out, that one there has two plane leads to cruise into rounds. All right. Now, just in terms of um, looking, just and now another thing Peter was saying gives me a nice leg in here. Have a quick look over on the right hand side on this page here, and you'll see these block touches. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Block touches first here. And the A block here is one, look at this, bob at one, bob at one, and then plain, plain. So it's bob, bob, plain, plain, that means. And here's the advice, call the seven in and out of the hunt three times. All right. So seven goes into the hunt, seven comes out of the hunt, and then there's two plain leads. And five, six, and seven, look at that thing I was saying when Peter was talking, five, six, and seven all come back to their home position. So you don't have to call it from the seven here. Let's have a look what the five does in this one. Um, and Carol, are you listening, Carol? All right, turn your microphone on, Carol. Um, okay, you're on the five for this one. And I want you to tell me, you're going to repeat your work, but what is that work? Have a look at the five. Where is it in that at the first bob? It's the second. Yeah. I found it. Um, 
Right, where are we here? Yeah, up here. So it's the first block there. If you were the yeah. five, what are you going to do? Um, make thirds. Thirds unaffected. That's right. Well, that's cruisy. And then you're going to call a bob at the next lead and look where the five is. And because it's the second last spell, what is it doing? Um, six, seven up. No, down, down, double yeah, six, seven, right. down. Okay. That's the wrong. Um, so you do you do thirds unaffected at the first lead end, and then you call yourself double six, seven down isn't too hard. You just you lie at the back, and just as you finish lying at the back, you just go, Bob. All right. And then you double dodge with whoever's coming up to you. Um, and then and then two plain leads later, you'll notice this lovely five, six, seven roll up occurs. Um, and you go again. And the people who've got something to fear are the people on two, three, four. They're all getting shunted around. Okay. But it's written out here as call it from the seven in and out of the hunt three times. You could just say, I'm going to call it from the five and I'm going to call myself before, which means thirds unaffected, before and wrong three times. Yes. So do thirds unaffected and then double six, seven down. Just do that three times and It'll give you exactly the same change. All right. One touch that is not in here that I think is one for people to have up their sleeve. And for this, I want to just go back to my whiteboard quickly. So just I'll just change my screen sharing options here. Stop sharing that one. Go back to the whiteboard and I'll come over here. I'll just move, move down the thing a bit another useful some other useful touches all right just this one on the left here i've written it out like this sps three times single plane single three times now this one it's just a little bit shorter when you ring those things that have 12 leads a lot of those things we were just looking at in the diary you know the seven in and out of the hunt three times or carols you know before and wrong three times from the five that thing is 168 changes now that takes you to like more than five minutes so if you're on a bit of a push you're, you're, you've got a lot of people in the tower and you're wanting some shorter touches this one works well but just very quickly if you two three four five six seven this one is another one of those block touches it has a block that repeats. So let's just quickly, I just want to quickly write it out. So I said, what we're going to have here, I'll just write, I'll put the, I'll put single plain single on the left-hand side. So the single gives you that change. Then the plane is going to give you six, seven, four, two, three. And then the last call is going to get the last so far, so far, and the now we want a single now, and we go oh, three, five, two, six, seven, and that's where it comes to at the end of that little block. Now, have a look at the top row up here, and the next row down here, and look for bells that are in the same spot in those two lines. Well, six and seven jump out at you, don't they? Six and seven are back to where they started. But, Margaret, are you looking? Have a look, Margaret. Turn your microphone on. Which other bell is in the same spot? Have a look. So have a look. The, the two isn't in the same spot. The four's got its spot. Six and seven have repeated. They're back to where they oh, started. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong line. Sorry. I thought I was looking at. This. No, no, look. Okay. So look there. So six and seven are in the same spot on the bottom line as they were on the top line. Which other bell is in the oh, same three. spot? Three. Three. So, Margaret, when somebody, you know, when, you know, somebody turns around you and says, Oh, Margaret, could you call a, a shortish touch of grants and triples? You go, No problem. I'll have the three, thanks. Um, and you grab the three and let's just go to a red cut ring. I'll go red here. So let's track the three here. So there was a single at the first lead and you did double six, seven down. Then there's a plain lead where you do six, seven up. Well, that follows six, seven down, doesn't it? And then this is a single and you do long thirds. So from the three, you'd call that as wrong and then a just remember you do a plain lead and then long thirds. 
And most people who are not used to conducting don't think of it as wrong. They think of it as double dodge six, seven down. And you, of course, you know, you look all like you look like a superstar and you just do the same thing three times. You go, you know, double six, seven down, then six, seven up plane and then long thirds at that single. And um, you, you just do it three times and three, six and seven will all be in there home positions back to where they started after every three leads but after nine leads everybody comes into rounds after the 126 changes all right so this the idea look i won't write out the three homes there that 168 but that's a really good one when you've got learners and they're le doing their first touch you know like you know you've got to look strong all right you're the nominated caller or conductor and you've got to look like you're completely like you know, you're not crapping your dax yourself. You know, you've got to you've got to actually look like you're in charge here and you're confident. And yet you want your learner to get something out of a simple touch. Three homes just means a bob when you're doing double six seven up. Now, like doesn't with Grantzer and Stedman, it really you know people will tell you that oh yeah you call the seven to do three homes and you get these lovely roll ups. You know. It'll work from any bill. All right. Doesn't really matter. Okay. If you just call yourself on, don't do it on the two because you're in the hunt and don't, all right. But just don't grab the two, grab any bill and say, right, I'm going to call myself to double dodge six, seven up three times. It's going to come around. All right. And the bobs are going to be four leads apart. All right. You're going to get plain, 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 bob, plain, plain, plain. It doesn't, but you can go plain, plain, bob, plain, and just repeat that. But counting three plain leads is tricky. You keep forgetting. Is that two? Is that three? Oh, there was a bob here. And you've got to look strong. All right. Not worried. Confident. Okay. So you just say, I'm going to call myself to double dodge six, seven up three times. It's going to come around. doesn't matter what bill you're on except the two. Or the six. Right. Or the six. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Tom. Um, yeah. Okay. Because it, it does, yeah. but it's much longer. It's probably longer yeah, than exactly, one. Exactly. <laughs> You know how we said before that you can't get to a calling position because, you know, you, you can't get to that fifth foot. That's the six in that case, you know, doesn't work. All right. Okay, I don't want to take too much more time, but there's just one other thing I have to share with you. Um, and again, I'll get out of the whiteboard share and go back to main screen. Um, stop sharing there. This time, I'm just going to see if I've got the file open. It's not there, but I can bring it up quickly. Um, some links and I'll put that on the main screen and I just, I'll click to some of these links very quickly. Um, share main screen. And I'll just, yeah, that's that stuff we had there before. All right. Just so that that's as visible as possible. I'll drag it to the center. All right. So just in terms of some things that you might at some stage want to look up, um, here's some useful links. Um, first one here is like it's every touch known, every known touch to humanity. Um, this was done in 1973, uh, I think, something like that by David Leach. Um, and it's the it's probably the way you don't. Oh, how are we? Where are, where am I going to get this coming up? Uh, let's have a look. Are we going to come up? I mean, may need to just get over here and go back to don't need you. I just need that open when I click on that link and we should, might just, sorry, I'm just juggling things around here, make that a bit smaller, jump that across to the right. And with a bit of luck, if I just go control click there, that should open up somewhere in that. Yeah. Okay. Here it comes. All right. Have a look at this. Don't need that anymore. Um, have a look at this service. I don't know why they say service touches. Like you can't ring them at practice. I've got to say that's a funny heading, isn't it? Um, service touches of grants or triples, but it's every touch you ever, every touch possible up to 210 changes. Um, so if you want to go, let's go the under, up to 140. All right. Here they are. Look how they're listed. They're just listed out as the first thing I wrote for you. BBS, BBS, you know, just like that. Um, and there's all the possibilities, what they're trying to tell you there, the music count, how many four sixes, in other words, Queensy noises, how many seven fours, 
tittimsy noises and how many six sevens, roundsy noises you get. Okay, so in terms of say, let's look at a particular, let's, let's find that touch that we were looking at early first on tonight, the 125. Can we find that among, here's all the 125s possible. Um, and the one we were doing earlier was, uh, was, um, just as makes this look, it's plain single, plain bob bob. So plain single, oh, I'll move that. Plain single, uh, uh, 125. Plain single, plain bob bob, plain bob, plain plain. It's the second one down on the right hand column. Look at the music count, eight to five, which means it's got eight lots of, of um, Queensy rolls ups, roll ups and only two lots of Tittums roll-ups and five lots of rounds noisy roll-ups. All right, so if you like particular noises and you want to go and pick your touch that way, you can go to this website and just have a look through. Then you can work out, you know, perhaps exactly where a bell's going to be at the lead ends, but that does involve writing it out or you find it in the diary and you pick out where a certain bell is in the sequence. All right, just wanted you to see that website. It doesn't have them listed as in and out of the hunt, you know, and home and then single wrong or anything like that. It just lists every lead, but every touch possible is there. Um, okay, so that was the first one. Um, then on the next one, I just want to jump over here. The next ones, this is probably the place to go if you want to go and do a little bit more follow up on what I've said tonight. This one here is the place probably to start. This one here, Tim Rose's one, um, this has, it's really about calling and it's, it's really there for people who haven't done much calling before and want to know what, the, I don't need that, short touch What's going to log in? It's my work logging. Why is it doing that? Um, anyway, but we're just, here we go. Google accounts, go away. Um, so, oh, it was there last week, I can tell you. Um, all right, I might just reinvestigate that one for you. Um, calling grants, if we do a little search on calling grants at triples, if I go calling grants, uh, grandsire triples and probably put in Tim Rose. Maybe it'll come up. All right, triples, Tim's ring and website. I don't know that this is where I actually got it from exactly last time. Site not found, what are you talking about? Go away. Um, hmm, collection of grants to compositions. All right, I'll, I'll investigate further on that one for you and find out why it's not it's trying to stand. Mm. So I'd think the site might be down for the week. It was certainly up and active. I'll find that and I'll make sure that that's there for um, Richard to put out to people because it is a good one to go to. Starts nice and basic, says all the things, talks about the calling positions. But my last one, and Tom, you're there. This is for you. All right. And Peter. All right. Um, some of you heavy hitters. Um, all right. And this, I'll just hope, hope this one works. Um, this one's here. In my searchings to find things that might be helpful for people, I found this one here. And this is uh, John Heaton. Um, and this one, well, here we go. And I'm reading through this. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, look, it's a pretty dry read. This is why I wouldn't throw it necessarily at people calling for the first time. But I got, and I was just scanning through it thinking, is this something useful I could put out for people? And then I saw this, look in the middle there. It's the third line here. Double dodge in four, five up, wrong. And double dodge in six, seven, in six, seven down, middle. Have you ever seen that before, Thomas? Uh, it's not the way I'd do it. No, I mean, it's a definition it's not, thing. If you know what the convention they're using, it doesn't the really point, matter, but it's I not don't want, normal. Yeah, I, I don't want agree. anybody watching tonight to remember this. That's <laughs> because I saw that and I went, what's he on about? He's, he's, he's on drugs. Um, but, but the thing is, for those the heavy hitters out there, I'll read on. He explains himself. In terms of what happens to the coursing orders, in grants to triples and comparing it to methods on even bells like your Bob Major and stuff. Oh, he's got a very strong point to make. And it comes down, it comes up further on um, where he talks about 
Bob's at middle in terms of which three bells out of your five bells get affected in the coursing order, it lines up a lot better with when you do his definitions, middle is in fact the last three bells in the coursing order, just as it is in standard major methods. It's, All the, right. it's the same as last week, Chris made, uh, when Chris was talking about Bob triples, I think, he mm. said if N was home, N minus one is wrong and N minus two is yeah. middle. But Bob Tribbles, it's actually more obviously not correct. So is it, this explanation would suit. <laughs> I didn't yeah. comment on it, but <laughs> yeah. right. anyway, so, um, so just, yeah, so you, you do get yeah. subtleties, which... Uh, yeah. But to the, uh, to the uninitiated, I wouldn't go to this page. You'll just get confused, all right? Not at all. <laughs> but, but I did want to have something there. Tom's been very patient sitting there watching. I always want to have something to whet his appetite. Um, all right. Well, I'll try and find that link because the one to Tim Rose's stuff is actually very good and it gives people a bit more time to look at stuff. All right. Um, but look, it's quarter to nine. So we probably should stop. Um, I think Peter and I have probably out outstayed our welcome. Um, all right. So I'll stop sharing there. Any questions out of the blue? No, Richard just turning his camera back on there. He did, or he's waving to me. Um, all right. Um, okay. Well, thanks very much, Richard, for the opportunity to have a captive audience. Um, yeah, thanks, Andrew. That was a great no, talk. No thanks, worries. Peter, as well. Both great talks. Mm. Yeah. All right. You can end, end that recording.